I'm Dr. Jeff and today we're going to talk about the painstorming process. Painstorming is a five-step process. Step one is identifying the problem hypothesis. So the problem hypothesis is done by saying I am and then describing your customer segment. Give at least three descriptors of the customer segment. I am trying to do a particular task. Describe the task that is trying to be done. But there is a problem. I am running into some snags I'm trying to accomplish this task because what is the cause of this problem? This is the statement of the problem hypothesis. The second part of doing the painstorming process is to develop a journey line. The journey line is done similar to a storyboard for a movie where you walk through what the customer is actually experiencing. And so I like to do this by drawing boxes. And in each box, you identify one activity that the customer is doing. After you have described their entire process, then <clears throat> I like to use green and red markers for this. Then you identify the emotions that the customer is experiencing every step along the process. Are they sad at some points in time and happy at others? Maybe they're really angry right here, right? So you identify every step along the process. What is the customer feeling? Once you've identified the emotions everywhere along the way, you want to figure out where the most negative emotions are. This is the point of most pain for the customer along the entire process. The third step is a root cause analysis. In this process, you take the problem that you initially identified and you form a branching tree identifying the sub-problems that lead to that initial problem. Okay? And for each of these sub-problems, you again branch down and figure out what caused that problem. Okay? Why did that problem occur? And you do that over and over again until you've got five levels. And we call this the five whys because you're going down. Why did this initial problem occur? Because of these things. Why did each of these things occur? Because of the next level down. So it's the five whys. Step four in the process is to look at your tree and your, from your root cause analysis and try and identify common causes that showed up over and over within the tree. Those you will then, then take and in step five, you will validate your assumptions with customers. So you'll go out there, you will find people who are actually using your product or a similar product and you'll say, hey, this is a root cause I solve many of the problems you're running into. Is it actually the case? So you're validating those assumptions. And those are the five steps of the painstorming process. So as an example of the painstorming process, let's say that for your problem hypothesis, I am a middle-aged man who's very constipated. Okay? I am trying to go to the bathroom without pain. Okay? Uh, or go to the bathroom at all for that matter. But it's not working. There's something not working with my system. Okay? Uh, and that's because my colon is kinked up, right? My doctor says my colon's kinked up, and so this is causing a problem. So that's my problem hypothesis. So let's go through the normal process and say, okay, what is my journey line? We're going to go back a little bit further here, right? So there's issues like first I eat, right? Um, we'll make that into a mouth. Okay, good. So I'm eating food, yummy, yummy. Okay. Um, <clears throat> then after I eat, right, the food, it goes down into my stomach. Right? And I'm probably, this is a really horrible picture, um, probably watching television, right? Okay. <clears throat> then comes a time when I'm thinking, you know, it's time for me to go to bed, and I'm, so I'm going to go and get ready for bed. And part of this is I brush my teeth, right? And I sit down on the throne. And after that, I sit there for a while, sit there for a while, read a magazine, nothing happens, and then I go to bed. Okay. And then in the middle of the night, I wake up again, and I cycle back through, and I sit on the throne, go to bed, sit on the throne, go to bed, uh, wake up in the morning without having really gotten a good night's sleep at all. And so that's really my process. That's the journey that I go through throughout the night. Okay, so now let's take this customer and say, okay, this is his process. 
what are his emotions along the way? So, first of all, um, very happy here in the beginning, right? E eating food with a marker that doesn't work. So, eating food makes you happy, okay? Then, you're digesting the food, you're watching TV. Yeah, I like this, right? Especially if you're still eating a little bit more, maybe you eat some after dinner hot wings, right? Then you go and you sit down on the throne, right? So, um, not, not bad, right? Not bad, you sit down, you're reading a magazine, you sit there for a while, maybe not as pleasant. Now you start to get a little, uh, this isn't working right, oh well, you go to bed. Right? So you get in the bed, you go to sleep, right? not too bad, um, you get to sleep, I like sleeping, but now you wake up again, right? so you cycle back. Now the second time you sit down on the throne, yeah, now it's getting really upset. Right? The third time, now you're really not having a good day. Right? You get in the bed, you finally get some sleep, not really the best sleep now, and then at the end you wake up in the morning and you have a stomach ache and you haven't slept at all and it's just not working for you. Right? So now. Your morning is lousy, okay? So this is your journey line for the customer. Okay? So what do we do now at this point? Uh, step three is now we do our root cause analysis. So we identify, okay, what is an emotional point that we see as a, the biggest negative emotion? And here, I'm gonna say it's this, what do we say? We'll say it's this negative the third time that you're sitting down on the toilet, right? That's the biggest negative emotion. <clears throat> And so what's the problem? The problem is I can't poop, right? And so here, that's a really horribly drawn pile of poop. So you can't poop. And so <clears throat> why is this happening? So what are the whys for this? Okay. First of all, one of it is your colon, right? So your colon is all bunched up and that's blocking stuff up. That's what your doctor told you. Okay. Other reasons, maybe it's stress. Okay, maybe that's one of the reasons why you're stuffed up. Okay? Uh, another reason why you're having trouble is <clears throat> now maybe what you're eating. Right? Maybe the food's not really sitting with you properly and you know, those, hot, those after dinner hot wings really weren't the best idea. Right? So you go through all of these. Now for each, each one of these causes, you say why again. Right? So why is my colon all stopped up? Why is it that I'm experiencing stress? Right? Why is it that the food I'm choosing to eat isn't sitting well with my system? And we do this, and then we go through another layer, right? So the colon, it's stopped up because maybe, oh, maybe the way I'm sitting, right? So the way I arch my back and sit on the toilet is causing my colon to latch up. Maybe I have a genetic problem where my colon's deformed, right? These are all potential causes of why your colon's that way. Stress, maybe it's due to my wife. Maybe it's due to my kids. It's one of those two. No, I, maybe it's my job, right? There's lots of reasons you could be having stress or the food, right? Why is it that I'm having food that's not settling with me? Maybe I have a dietary issue where I'm lactose intolerant or maybe I just am on a budget and I can't afford the healthy foods that my system actually needs, right? So go through and again, you do your five, five whys, okay? And figure out, okay, what are the, the causes of this, the causes of that, and then you figure out, okay, what are the common causes now, right? So you look through your whole tree and you identify what are the common causes that keep reoccurring. Okay? Once you've identified some common causes okay, or some major causes, then you go to your customers and in the last step of the painstorming process, you talk to your customers and you say, this is an assumption I'm making. I am assuming that the way I sit on the toilet is causing my colon to get clumped up and that's causing me to be constipated, right? And so is this the actual process that you go through? Is that why, you know, is that why your colon gets blocked up? Is that why you're constipated? And you test those assumptions and that's the painstorming process. From that point, now you can start to develop solutions to these problems.